The Save for Web feature is very powerful and I highly suggest that you use it. What it does is it allows you to retain extremely high quality in your images, but it compresses them to a very manageable size so that your web pages load very quickly. Now in this particular image, if I were to go to the image menu and choose image size, I can see that this file as it is, is 796K. Now that's just under a megabyte. That's really too large for practical web use, especially if you're going to have a whole bunch of different images on the same page. Now even though computers are getting us faster and faster with the high speed modems and the DSL and the cable modems and all that great stuff, this would load very quickly. But sometimes you want to design for a lower common denominator. So what I'm going to do is show you how we're going to squish this file size down but still have the image look great. And you're going to find that option under the file menu right here where it says save for web and devices. And once again I use this all the time and you'll be quite shocked at how efficient it is and how great your images will look once they're done. So what do we have here? We have the ability to click on a slice and we can optimize them individually or we can choose an entire page or an image to do this with. So here's the original and here's optimized and we can look at the image in 2-up fashion or 4-up fashion. Let's go ahead and look at the 2-up. Here in our original we can see that this is 797K as I showed you earlier. As a matter of fact let me go to 4-up so you can see this more clearly. Now unfortunately this is a pretty big dialog box so I really can't show you the entire thing. But you can see that this one here is 15.84K. The quality is really not that different. Look at this one here and look at the, the GIF file. So what you can do is go to presets and you can choose from JPEG, PNG, and WBMP. And of course that's black and white, but look how small that is. It's 3K. So I'm going to choose PNG. No, actually I'll go to JPEG so we can just focus on what we're doing here and look at the quality now. Here we have a much, much uh, compacted file size. Now there is some slight dithering and pixelization compared to this one, which looks much smoother. But you can always go over here now and adjust the quality. So the quality currently is 60. We can go to this drop down and choose maximum, or we can choose very high, and always keep your eye over here and see how that number changes. So this slice is going to be 18K and it's going to take about 4 seconds to load on a 56K modem. We can also use the quality slider to drop this down manually and once again we can keep our eye at the quality here. Now it looks really bad now. It's really degrading quite a bit but the file size is only 2K. So your job as a web designer is trying to decide a good in between point between quality and speed. So once you choose what you want, you can also choose to look at a different preview as far as how the monitor is going to look. So this is a Macintosh with no color management. Here's Windows and you can use the documents profile. So you can see how the color space changes. You can also choose metadata here as well. And if you need to, you can choose a color table. So this is a very important window and it's really going to show you the power of this particular feature. We started out with an image that was 797K and we wind up with something that's 5K but of course the image is degraded quite severely so I would typically keep it on something like high and just try to find something that's still going to look professional but it's going to load very very quickly. Once you're done all you have to do is accept it and then you'll save your file to your desktop and then you could put it in your HTML folder or upload it to your server and then look at the quality there. If need be, you can always return to your document and then modify it and then try saving it for web again. So once again, I highly recommend using this because I don't know what the compression scheme uh, it's using, but it really does create a very dramatic size difference. And this will allow you to have more images on your website of higher quality that will load very fast for your viewers.